Patients with cancer have significant somatic dysfunctions due to their treatment regimen, including surgery, radiation, and or chemotherapy. Osteopathic manipulative medicine can help to reduce musculoskeletal symptoms, complications, and pain, lending to earlier ambulation, shorter time deflatus, and shortened hospital stays. In this video, we use the example of a patient with colon cancer who has recently undergone bowel resection. The following two techniques may be safely and effectively employed to improve respiration and postoperative ileus in the supine patient. Release of the 12th rib via balanced ligamentous tension technique is useful in postoperative patients who may splint their breath or breathe in a shallow manner, limiting the motion of the diaphragm. Diaphragm motion is important not only for the aeration and prevention of atelectasis, but for the movement of venous and lymphatic return from the abdomen and pelvis, including from the colon. The diaphragm attaches anteriorly and laterally to the lower ribs at the costal margin and posteriorly attaches to the 12th rib as the lateral and medial lumbocostal arches or arcuate ligaments covering the quadratus lumborum and the psoas muscles, respectively. With the patient's supine, the physician palpates the 12th rib and assesses motion with respiration. The affected 12th rib is often found more posterior and angled inferiorly. The physician sits at the side of the affected 12th rib, establishes contact with the 12th rib with one hand, while the other hand is placed beneath the contacting hand to lift the rib anteriorly and provide inferior lateral traction creating balanced tension or equal tension in all directions across the lumbocostal arches. The vector is usually between 90 and 150 degrees from the long axis of the spine. The physician fine tunes his or her contact to match the resistance of the tissue and maintain balanced tension while the patient breathes. The position is held until a release is felt and typically the 12th rib slips superiorly with exhalation. The physician may repeat the technique on the other side of the patient if both sides had somatic dysfunction. The second technique is lumbosacral decompression with BLT. The parasympathetic innervation for the large intestine from the transverse colon onwards travels via pelvic splanchnic nerves arising from the S2 through S4 ventral rami and enter the pelvic or inferior hypogastric plexus. Osteopathic manipulative treatment of the sacrum may assist the relief of viscerosomatic reflexes and improve parasympathetic outflow, improving postoperative bowel function. With the patient supine, the physician sits at the side of the patient and contacts the L5 spinous process with the cephalad hand and the spines of the sacrum with the caudad hand. The physician can use the spinous process of L5 as a handle to introduce rotation by pushing right and left and translation or side bending, flexion and extension by lifting up and down on the vertebra. The caudad hand on the sacrum can also introduce these motions as well as compression and decompression. Use the triplanar diagnosis and vectors from motion testing to position L5 and the sacrum at a point of balanced tension with decompression between L5 and the sacrum. Maintain balance tension until there is a release or change in tissue texture.